Oh, hello. You must be the next appointment, right? Good. Well, I'm very happy to be working with you today. I hope that this time is very beneficial for you. Now, my name is Selina. I'm one of the priestesses at the temple here. What's your name? It's lovely to meet you. Now, from what I understand, you've been having a bit of trouble lately with your energy levels. Perhaps from a, a block in your aura, or perhaps just from daily stress getting you down a bit, right? Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that. But hopefully, you and I can get that fixed a bit today, okay? Okay. I've got a few different techniques here that are all meant to heal the spirit. You know, we, we spend all this time healing our bodies when we get sick. But the spirit can be sick too. And it needs just as much care and love and attention as our physical bodies do. So that's what I do here at the temple. I'm here to help fix your spirit, to help get it back to its proper state. So there are a few different techniques that I can use with that. But first, I'm going to need just, just a bit of time to sort of get to know your energy, your spirit a bit. Is that all right with you? Okay, excellent. I would like to start out by preparing a special drink for you. It's just some herbs and some other sort of celestial things that um, it will help to, first of all, relax you, just get you into a very calming state. And it will also make it a bit easier to read your aura, understand what the problem is. Because sometimes the problem is not just right on the surface and blatantly obvious. Sometimes it takes a bit of digging. So this drink is just sort of a way to help your spirit open up and prepare for the healing. Does that sound all right with you? Okay, excellent. Yeah, got this cup for you. Just fill it with a few different mixtures. This first one, got it from the apothecary in town. It is a potion of self-love, really, with a bit more things mixed in. Self-awareness, being able to understand ourselves. This potion can help with that. Bit of that in there. Everyone needs some help with self love every now and then. Right. And then next, I'll add a bit of this one. This is a potion that a very talented diviner gets me here in La Masera. And this one will help to make your aura, your energy, just a bit more readable, a bit more open to being read. Because having your aura read can be, well, it, it can be a rather personal experience. So this will just help your spirit not be so closed in on itself open itself up to the healing. There. I think that should do it. Swirl that around just a bit. Yeah. Now, most people say that this tastes rather good. Yes. But if you wouldn't mind just 
drinking that bit for me. Good, good. Now you go ahead and just sip that for a bit, okay? How does it taste? Good, good, I'm glad you like it. Now, while you're just enjoying that, I thought that I might also light a bit of incense for us. It's a very pleasant smell, as far as incense goes. It's not incredibly strong, but it is quite soothing. Just another thing to help relax you, another tool to help you be ready for the healing. Is that all right with you? Okay, excellent. Mm. Let's do this one, I think. Right, let's like this here. Almost immediately, you'll start to smell that very soothing, soothing aroma. Can you smell that? Can you smell? It's nice, right? It's just very pleasant. Not too strong, not any one smell too much. Just a bit. Oh, I believe it's got some some lavender in it, some chamomile, things like that. Just some lovely relaxing scents. Okay, here I'll put that got a little stand here for it. Just put that in there, and I'll put this right next to you over here too. Okay, there. We'll just let that do its thing while we're talking and while you're sipping your drink. Okay, excellent. All right, now, the next thing I want to do is just sort of get a reading on your aura, if that's all right. It'll take just a bit. I may need to put my hand somewhat close to you, if that's all right with you. Okay, good. I just want to really get to the heart of what the problem is. Okay. And just... Right in there, isn't there? Mm. Okay. Yes. Mm, very good. Mm. Okay. Just a bit of Okay, definitely. Right. Mm. Thank you for allowing me to do that. That gave me quite a lot of insight to what's going on with your energy, with your heart. Yeah. You've been through quite a lot lately, haven't you? It's a crazy world we live in, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's nothing I haven't seen before. And it's nothing that we can't fix together, all right? It is going to take you being open to the healing. And every once in a while there might be a, a particular problem that needs more than one session. So if, if we need to make another appointment after this, that's perfectly fine. But even just this first session will leave you feeling much, much better. And of course, if any time in the future you 
you feel any sort of this, this lack of energy, this, this problem coming back, you come back to see me and we'll clear it up again, all right? Okay. So I think we're going to need to do quite a bit of uh, plucking, sort of cleaning up your energy, getting rid of some of that negativity, the, the tension, the worry, things that are sort of weighing you down. I think that will make you feel much lighter. Okay, but before we do that, I have a gift for you, okay? Here. This is one of my very favourite crystals. This is an amethyst cluster. If you know anything about crystals, you've probably seen this one before. It's a lovely, soft purple. Some of it can be quite dark, deep purple. This one's a bit softer. And it's got all of these lovely little points and facets that catch the light ever so beautifully. And amethyst has a wonderful energy to it. It's very strong, and yet it's also very gentle. It's a wonderful stone. It is calming and soothing. It helps to neutralize that negative energy. Not, not just remove it, but actually completely take it away and make it as if it never existed. It's, um, it's an excellent stone for mental clarity, for balance, and for gaining some insight into oneself as well. It's just an all-around, very powerful, very lovely, lovely stone. So, I would like you to hold on to this, okay? Let me tell your hand. There. You hold on to that. And uh, you can actually take that with you today, alright? Yes, it's, it really is a lovely, lovely stone. And then I have one other here for you as well. This one. It's much smaller, but trust me, it is very powerful. This, you can see, it's just one point of a crystal. And it's uh, sort of lighter on this side, almost clear, and then on this side it gets a bit grey. This is called Smoky Quartz. And Quartz is a very powerful stone as well. It's, it's excellent for enhancing energy, for focusing, centering energy, things like that. And smoky quartz, specifically, is wonderful at removing negative energy from a place and, again, neutralizing it. So this smoky quartz sort of helps to pull out all of that negativity, take it away. It's a very, very powerful stone. So this one, you will also get to take with you today, but I'm going to actually use it a bit. We'll do some energy pulling and then I'll maybe use this for a bit of uh, crystal therapy as well. Yeah, I think sort of around there. Yeah, but then you can take this with you when I'm finished, all right? Okay, but let's start with some good old energy pulling. So what I'm going to be doing here is just sort of sifting through your aura, this, this field of energy around you. I've got a nice good look at it before, um, and I'm just going to be taking out the bad bits, the worries, the fears, the, the tensions, the stresses, the anger, jealousy, things like that. You know, it's unfortunate that um, negative energies are so very, very heavy on our spirits. They can really weigh us down. So I think even with just this plucking, I think you're definitely going to be able to feel a difference. So I'll start with just sort of going in a little at a time and just plucking away some of that negativity. Might be some larger sections we have to pull a bit more at, but don't you worry. 
And like I said, nothing I haven't seen before. And then I may also, you know, once we get down, I've got just those, those little pesky wisps of energy just sort of still trying to cling to you. I'll scratch, scratch, scratch that away. And hopefully that will leave you feeling much, much lighter. Does that sound good? Good. Okay. I'm just going to warm my hands a bit. Just makes it a bit easier for pulling that energy, being able to really grab onto it. Okay, now I just want you to hold nice and still. You don't really have to do anything. But if you can just sort of keep your breathing nice and steady, that will help the process a bit. So the more calm and open that you are, the more effective that the healing will be. Okay? Would you like to take some deep breaths with me first? Okay. Let's breathe in. Hold for a moment. And breathe out. Good. Breathe in. Hold for a moment. And breathe out. Excellent. Once more, just for good measure. Breathe in. Hold. And out. Well done. That's good. You keep your breathing nice and steady. You, you can continue to do the deep breaths if you like, or just breathe normally, naturally, comfortably. Either one is perfectly fine. Okay? Okay, excellent. Well, let's begin, shall we? Okay. Let's see. You know, an added benefit to this incense that's burning and smoking here is that it will also help to neutralize the energy as it's being removed. That little pesky energy that's clinging to you, the stress, the worries. The anxieties. The self-doubt. Mm. It's a bit of a big one right there. Here we are. The loneliness. And the despair sometimes fills our hearts when things are not going how we imagined it to go. Everyone has those days, you know, where they can't really see the light at the end of the forest. But it's there. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. Sometimes. Even when you can't see it, when you can't feel it, you just have to keep going. And if you just keep going a bit longer, you'll see it. But in the moment, it can be hard. It can be. But that's why you have me. What other people in your life 
can lift you up. Remind you of all the other times in the past that you've come across bad things. And you've always gotten through them, haven't you? Yes, you have. Always. You are stronger than you think. Braver than you believe. You really are. But that doesn't mean that sometimes these pesky negative thoughts don't creep in from time to time. It happens to everyone too. Sometimes you just need someone to come alongside and help you just a bit. Hmm. some jealousy. It's all right. We all have it. We all have that too. Someone who it seems like things just work out for them. They may even be a nice person, perhaps even one of our friends, but we envy something that they have. Something that they've achieved. Maybe we've worked just as hard and haven't achieved it, and it can be hard a hard potion to swallow, but your time will come too. If you believe, if you work hard, you remain faithful, continue to believe in the Lady Fate. She'll bless you as well. Hmm. Typical chunk of self-doubt there. It's all right. These are all normal feelings. It doesn't make them any more pleasant, but at least you know that everyone feels these things. Absolutely everyone goes through a whole range of emotions, good and bad. Sometimes the bad likes to really take hold. Sometimes it feels like that's all you can really feel. It's quite sad. But we're going to take care of. At least you know that it is normal. Natural, even. But it isn't healthy to dwell on those negative thoughts. Experience them, but let them run their course. And then experience happier days too. Easier said than done, I understand. Trust me. I completely understand. <laughs> but you've come to the right place. Sometimes the hardest part of the battle is asking for help, and you've done that. You're here today. You're open to the healing, to letting those things go. That is an excellent, excellent first step. It's half the battle right there. So, I'm very glad that you came in today. There we are. Okay. I think that's. Mm, be I think that's most of the bigger pieces. Now, every once in a while, there are negative emotions that we experience, and we might have a bit of a hard time letting them go, even if we don't know that we're doing it. Just subconsciously, things like resentment or past hurt or self-doubt, things like that, can, can just sort of root themselves in our hearts. And they almost become a part of us, but not a good part. <laughs> we all have those things, but 
After a while, it's time to let them go. So if you would allow me, I would like to help free you from some of those very deep-rooted negative energies as well. Okay, thank you. Now for this, we're going to do another few deep breaths. This time, I want you to picture that when you are breathing in, you are breathing in love and acceptance and good positive energy. And then when you breathe out, you're pushing away, pushing away all of that negativity, all of those things that have clung to you for so long, that are just sort of eating away at your energy a little bit at a time. I want you to picture that you're pushing them away. That will help me be able to find them. But you do have to be willing to let those things go. Sometimes it can be hard. Sometimes it can be scary. But it's for the best. Okay? Would you like to try? Okay, good. I'm going to get my smoky quartz ready then here to help us sort of draw out that negativity. Okay, now why don't you take a few deep breaths again, okay? So breathing in, we're breathing in love and acceptance. And when we breathe out, we are letting go of that negativity, okay? All right, breathe in with me. Pushing away that negativity doesn't serve you anymore. Let's do it again. Right, breathe in. And out. Alright, one more time. Breathing in. Collecting all of that good, positive energy in the universe. And then out. Pushing away. Letting go, pushing away that negativity. Good, excellent. You're doing a wonderful job. I know that this can be a challenge. It can be hard, it can be scary, it can be a different way of thinking. You know, when you've, when you've been a slave to this negativity for so long, sometimes Letting it go almost feels like you're losing a part of you. But really what you're doing is freeing that part of you. Does that make sense? Good, good. Keep taking some deep breaths for me. Breathe in. And out. Excellent job. Excellent. Well done. Just give it all away. All of that negativity. Just breathe it right into the smoky quartz. It's a very powerful stone. It can take it, I promise. Then I will cleanse it for you. And then you may take it with you. Just breathe in and out. Let that negativity wash away and finally free you from its clutches. Excellent. Well done. I'm very proud of you doing an amazing job. Sometimes people come into an appointment here and they want to be healed but they're not ready to do the work. I can only do so much. It's your energy. You have to be willing to let it go. Well done. Well done. 
Okay, that took care of quite a lot. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in. You know, when, when you're plucking and drawing out this negativity, sometimes just very little remnants of that energy just sort of likes to flitter around on the outside of your aura, just sort of waiting to be sucked back in. You don't want that. So I'm just going to take my hand here and just sort of scratch it away. That sounds good to you. Okay, good. Just hold still again. You can keep breathing deeply if you would like, or just breathe comfortably. Right? Okay, and that's just scratch, 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 excellent. That removed quite a lot, just that pesky little residual energy. Now, how do you feel? You know, I can, I could do this all day, but it's really up to how it affects you. So how do you feel now? Do you feel lighter? Do you feel like your, your, your energy feels better? Like there's not that blockage of, of negativity anymore. Good. Good, I'm so glad. Well, your aura certainly looks much better, much brighter, much less tense. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Maybe not, I know not everyone can read auras and so, you know, if I'm describing it as a certain way, you might not really understand it. That's all right, but it does look much better. I assure you of that. And you're feeling better. Good, good. Well, here, let me, uh, let me cleanse this a bit for you. Now, to give it a really good cleanse, you can, there's a few different things you can do. You can put it into a jar of moon water leave it in overnight. Especially if you have your moon water sitting on a windowsill in the moonlight. That's an excellent way to do it. You can also cover it in salt, some good pure sea salt, pink salt perhaps. And the salt can help to purify it as well. Or you can also um, cleanse it with other crystals as well. So there's lots of different ways. And of course, if you go to the apothecary, they actually have a, a purifying potion as well, or something that you can just sort of pour over it. Or you can do a combination of all of them. Put it in a bowl of salt on the windowsill in the moonlight, and then, you know, in the morning, dunk it in some moon water. However, but also just sort of warming it in your hands can, can start the cleansing process just a bit. It's all about intention, really. So, that will help to start the cleansing process. Once you get home, of course, you can do any of those other methods if you'd like to fully purify it. And even so, you, you should be able to use it. Like I said, smoky quartz is a very, very powerful stone. Even 
just a small one like this can make quite a big impact. So why don't you take this one as well? You've got your amethyst there. Okay, good, good. Well, um, is, is there anything else that I can do for you today? No. Good. I'm so glad that you're feeling much better. Well, uh, would, would you like to make another appointment as well? Perhaps next week or maybe next moon? We could meet again and just sort of see how you're doing. Check up on you. See how that negativity is. If it's still clinging to you a bit or if it really has gone for good. Okay, sure. Well, you go ahead and uh, there should be someone out front in the temple. You can set up another appointment with them if you would like. And of course, in the future, if you ever have another experience with feeling like your energy is blocked or, or you've lost energy or your aura is muddled or you're just sort of mentally or emotionally in a place where you're feeling clouded and unsure, any of those things we can help with here. So you're welcome to come back anytime. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Wow. Thank you so much for allowing me to help you today. I love getting to help people. It's one of life's greatest joys is seeing someone else has benefited from your work, from, from your energy. So thank you very much. <laughs> I do hope to see you again. Well, I don't hope that your energy needs healing again, <laughs> but if it does, I hope that you come back and I can help you again, all right? All right, well, have a lovely day. I'll see you next time.